Good morning to all. Today we discuss about uh, lenses. See a yeah, lens means lens is formed by homogeneous transparent refracting medium. Refracting medium bounded by two surfaces of which one or both surfaces are spherical, one or both surfaces are. spherical see here lens na lens is formed by homogeneous transparent refracting medium bounded by two surfaces of which one or both surfaces are spherical so that is the definition of lens for example see types of lenses types of lenses see we have in our syllabus Thin lenses. Thin lenses. For example, types of lenses. Now see here, biconvex. This is the biconvex lens. Biconvex lens. It is converging lens. Converging lens. Why not? See. Light rays coming from the object which are parallel to principal axis. After that refraction, they meet at a point. Means after refraction, actually meet is called as converging. So converging lens. So after refraction, it actually meets. That's why we say that it is converging lens. See by convex lens, it is. Thick at middle. See here, middle it is thick. Thin at edges. This is the biconvex lens. Biconcave lens. See here, this is the biconcave lens. Biconcave lens. See, light rays like this moving. After refraction, it diverges. After refraction, it diverts. It will be extended. Means appears to meet. Here we can see the image. After refraction, it appears to meet. That why it is a diverging lens. Diverging lens. See, it is biconcave lens. It is thick. At edges, thin at middle. <coughs> this is the two lenses: biconvex, biconcave. Converging biconvex is converging lens. Biconcave is diverging lens. It is thick at middle, thin at edges. It is thick at edges, thin at middle. See how to represent a biconvex lens. Symbolically, this is the symbol of biconvex lens. Symbolically, we represent like this. Biconcave, na, we can represent like this. This is the symbol of biconcave. Biconcave. Symbol. Representation. See, this is the types of lenses. Biconvex, biconcave. Next, we will discuss other classification. Further classification. See here, what are the further classification now? Further classification of lenses. See here, what are that now? See, this is 
by convex this is plano convex this is concave convex this is this is by convex this is plano convex this is con kivo convex lens see here first two represents <coughs> shape and second represent nature of lens what is the nature of lens now it will be act as converging lens converging lens means finally all the refractor lens actually meet that's why it is converging lens so net behavior is net behavior of concave convex lens is converging lens net behavior is converging lens it is thick at middle that is see it is first represent shape second represent nature what is the nature now here converging lens plano convex first plano shape convex na nature so means this also converging lens it also converging lens this all converging by convex is converging plano convex converging concave convex also converging so one more is by concave see here by concave na so this is by concave plano concave plano concave it is plano concave and convexo concave convexo concave it is the convexo concave see it is by concave it is plano concave it is convexo concave see here first na shape second na nature what is the nature of this na concave na diverging lens it act as diverging lens it is net behavior is diverging net behavior is diverging lens see here it is thick at edges this is the further classification of lenses one is by convex plano convex and concave convex but another one by concave plano concave convex so concave so this is the further classification of lenses see next we we'll discuss center of curvature center of curvature and radius of curvature radius of curvature see here for example we can take biconvex lens this is the biconvex lens it is formed by two spherical surfaces see this is the spherical surface one Another one. This is also spherical surface, so sphere like this. See here. For this sphere, this is the center. C one. For this sphere, this is the center. C. This is the center of curvature. Center of curvature means center of this sphere of which curved surface is a part. Right here, center of curvature. Center of curvature. center of the sphere center of the sphere of which curved surface is a part surface is a part is called center of curvature center of curvature see here 
for this sphere this is the center of curvature for this sphere this is the center of curvature yeah see here this is the no uh, here this is the optic center from center to sorry here center to this is surface is radius of curvature or to from this center to this surface is radius of curvature r1 so means the distance between center to sphere is radius of curvature this center to this sphere is edges is radius of curvature r1 r2 are radius of curvatures c1 c2 are center of curvature for example see concave lens concave this is the concave c this is the concave see it will be extended like this so we can see that this is one sphere it is also extended this is also one sphere see here this is c1 center this is c2 center center to this is called radius of curvature this is called radius of curvature r1 radius of curvature r2 for this sphere for example c center of curvature means center of the sphere of which curved surface is a part is called center of curvature see radius of curvature na distance between center to curved surface is called radius of curvature see for example plano convex see this is the plano convex this is radius of curvature for plano plane surface is infinity for this it is extended na see here you can see the center center to this is surface is radius of curvature r1 here r2 is plane surface radius of curvature for plane surface is infinity this is r1 see for example plano concave plano concave see here this is the plano concave it will be extended this is the sphere this is for this center of curvature c1 from here to here radius of curvature for this plane surface radius of curvature is infinity so like this we can find out center of curvature and radius of curvature so next uh, optic center optic center optic center means the point on the principal axis of lens the point on the principal axis of lens through which a ray of light passes undeviated is called optic center for example see this is the convex by convex see optic center means center of the lens for example this is the center so this is called as optic center so for example this surface this is the center of curvature for this surface this is the center of curvature see if line is passes through center of curvature and optic center that line is called principal axis this is the principal axis principal axis in this principal axis a point the point on the principal axis through which a ray of light is ray of light passes undeviated for example a ray of light for example this is ray of light passes undeviated for example this ray of light passes undeviated so not deviated so that is that point is called this point is called as optic center for example see by concave so this is the by concave see here this is for center of curvature for this surface for this surface center of curvature c2 join this a point is drawn here this point is called optic center o so any light ray passes this undeviated like this passes now this also undeviated that point is called as optic center this optic center optic center is sometimes inside on surface on or 
outside the lens outside lens depends on a radius of curvature radius of curvature see for example these are thin lenses na so see for example see, for, we, before that we discuss shift shift equal to what t into 1 minus 1 by mu here t is thickness of lens mu is refractive index of lens shift see here thickness is increases shift increases thickness decreases shift decreases see here thickness is tends to zero shift also shift tends to zero in this case in this case ray of light is undeviated so that's why optic center is inside on surface or outside plane depends on radius of curvature okay na? right next <coughs> focus or focal point under focal length see here focal length means distance of focus from optic center or lens is called focal length see focus first see we can take first we can draw the first focus first focus see we can take biconvex this is the biconvex yeah this is the optic center see light rays parallel to each other after refraction after refraction all the light rays meet at a point actually meet at a point this is called focus first focus for example see second focus see second focus now for biconvex lens see this is the biconvex yeah this is the optic center see light ray moving like this parallel to each other so means whatever the light ray passes through optic center that is undeviated that's why it is moving straight see after refraction it is actually meet here after that it also actually meet see here this is called second focus this is the first focus this is the second focus for biconvex lens biconcave see here this is the biconcave this is the optic center yeah light ray parallel to principal principal axis this is optic center now see here after refraction in on concave lens diverge these divergent rays are extended where it meet there we can see the image this is focus f1 means after refraction all the refractor rays appears to meet that is called as first focus see here for example this is the concave by concave see see light rays this is the optic center moving like this yeah see undeviated this ray this is refracted it will be extended in backward direction where it meet there we can see the focus f2 see here this is for f1 for biconvex f2 for biconcave f1 for biconcave f1 f2 for biconcave this is f2 for biconvex lens see focus as f1 this is f2 for biconvex concave na is f1 is f2 see here this is optic center na optic center to focus is called focal length this is first focal length optic center to second focus is called second focal length optic center to focus is called first focal length optic center to second focus is called 
second focal length. This is the focus and focal length. Focal length means distance between optic center to focus. See one more. So we know, for example, this is the biconvex. This is the principal axis. This is optic center. This is focus F2. This is focus F1. This is radius of curvature R1. This is radius of curvature R2. What is the relation between focus, focal length and radius now? Radius equal to twice of focal length. And focal length equal to half of radius of curvature. This is the relation between radius of curvature and focal length. So now we discuss rules for drawing a ray diagram. See here, for rules for drawing a ray diagram. What are the rules now? First rule, first we can write, see here, first we can write for biconvex lens. Next lens, see here, first rule, this is the biconvex lens, see, this is the optic center, see, here focus F1, here we can write, radius of curvature, we can write 2F1, this is 2F2, this is F2, see here, light ray, parallel to principal axis now, after refraction, it passes through focus, this is the first rule. See second rule, by convex, this is the optic center, focus F1, focus F2, sorry, radius of curvature, this is focus F2, radius of curvature, sorry, 2F2, this is 2F2. See here, light ray coming from the focus or passes through focus after refraction, it is parallel to principal axis. This is the second rule. Third one is, this is the biconvex lens. This is optic center. See here, this is second radius of curvature. This is focus, second focus, first focus, second radius, first radius of curvature. See, light ray passes through optic center. It is undeviated like this also. And whatever the light ray passes through optic center, that is undeviated. These are the three rules for drawing ray diagram. See, we want for drawing image or we have, we want two ways definitely. Either parallel to principal axis or passes through principal axis or passes through optic center. We want two rules. Any two rules we can use and draw the ray diagram. Please subscribe my channel.